So what's the problem? I just can't see it. You know, with biology, I can see the trees and chemistry. I can see chemicals mixing, but there's nowhere to see statistics in the real world. But there is. Let me show you. I see statistics all the time. You've just pumped your gas. You go to grab the receipt, and your action wears paint off the pump. You see the wear pattern here? Yeah, but how is that statistics? Well, it's a bell curve. Most people target the middle. Few are a little off to the right. A few are a little off to the left. But most target right in the middle. As lots and lots of fingers grab for their receipt, a bell-shaped pattern develops. I see it now, a bell-shaped curve. All those fingers building up the pattern. Where else do you see statistics? Here, at the drugstore. See the pattern on the door? It's a bell curve. More wear in the middle, less on either side. As people push on the door. Oh, it's a wear pattern, just like at the gas pump. But now, the pattern's upside down. More wear, more frequent use. I see the statistics now, but is it always bell curves? Do you see statistics anywhere else? So here's the entrance to an office. Rather than look at the front door, where do you think most people park? Probably in the spot closest to the building. And if that spot's not available, they have to go further down the line. That makes sense, but can we see the pattern there? Here's the spot closest to the door. Lots of cars have left oil drops here. Here's the next parking place. Fewer cars have left oil here. It's further from the door. Here's the third spot. Fewer still. This is not a bell curve. It's a discrete Poisson distribution. And we can see it best from overhead. Oh, I see it now. A larger oil stain shows which parking spots are more frequently used, and there's less use as people park further from the door. I see it now. I see statistics. Statistics is here. It's there. Statistics can be seen everywhere.